Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Take them, Whitey. and gentlemen we got a good grass patch put our blinds in today good west wind set up 10 dozen color day baby color day good ground we got good ground good soft ground might might rain on us a little bit today it's a little bit overcast so We'll see what happens, but... Bib up today, boys. A little bit of rain in the forecast. Nice overcast morning here for some big old Canada geese to die. They are gonna get it today, baby. the spread guys got 10 dozen out today trickled out into a honker formation thickened it up in the middle so they want to come in like this flipping and flopping and flipping and flopping and get boom you did a good job white Moist. wow those blinds look incredible wow whitey the master of all masters at hiding. Well, if you screw this one up, you're, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hopefully they come. I'd love to kill some big old Canada geese. So today we're going to be shooting four shot shots ammo. The best shells on the gosh dang market. These things are absolutely bad the bone everyone we've had get some has messaged me saying how much they love them how much they destroy birds don't forget to get you one of these shell bags I wasn't a huge fan of shell bags I usually just like taking them out of my box but uh, they're actually super handy you can find these shells and bags at uh, shotsammo.com and I got you guys a little bit of a discount to save yourself some money Use my code COLD10 to save yourself a little bit of money and get you some of the best shells on the gosh dang planet. These shells are 3 inches, 1500 SPS, FPS, ounce and 3 eighths, 4 shot. They are bad. They are, you'll see, you'll see. Gonna be blowing, gonna be blowing my new honker call that's gonna be released here pretty gosh dang soon. Overcast morning, slight northwest wind. We're facing straight east. Um, this was a smaller honker feed. About, uh, I don't know, 150 geese in here. If we can get three or four flocks to do it, I think we'll be alright. But just me and Whitey out here hoping to shoot a honker limit. Some ducks were buzzing the field last night. So maybe we'll get lucky and get a couple of ducks. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Do you like overcast this morning with a little bit of wind? Or do you like sunny days with good wind? Sunny or cloudy days? Let's make it easy. You like sunny or cloudy days better? Which which work best for you guys typically? I'm 
I'm kind of a sunny, sunny, uh, sunny day person with some good wind myself. I think it, I think it makes everything look a little bit better, but we'll see what these big Canada's do. See if they want to decoy for us and play nice and, uh, we're going to get after it. Just gonna see what they do. Looks like they like it. Rogi. Take them, Whitey. God dang, freaking grass stuck up in my gun. No. I ain't killed bird. No. Can't get up. Should have hit him with the lesser call. Oh, dang it. I thought <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You didn't do nothing. Yeah. Well, shoot. I'm sorry about that, White. Well, I tried to crack one after God. I was uh, ready to shoot backwards. Did I shoot three? I shot three. I mean, did I load three? Yeah. Yep. Gosh dang it. Yeah, those are. There's another flock of maybe ducks right there. I think I tripled. Are you sure you didn't get one? I didn't kill a bird, bub. Oh, darn it. Come up with four pounds of grass on the end of my gun. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Whitey. They are little lessers. Oh, man. They are tiny little guys. Wow. Those are baby cacklers. There's the, there's the other one. Man. God, it looked like they did backflips when I shot them. Even this far one. Oh, look at these cute little lessers. I love them. Well, some of you were commenting what's my favorite bird to hunt. It would uh, most definitely be the little Canada goose. Anything that cackles is awesome. That would be a headshot. Okie dokie. Dang it, White. Uh, you'll get them this next time. We didn't see any lessers in the field last night, so those are a bonus. They were straight hawk daddies. Wind died, and probably have to take them first pass. Oh yeah, here we go. Take them, Whitey. Here we go. Here we go. Got four. There's a green mallard. Oh, I missed him. Dang it, dude. Okay. <laughs> That was nasty. That pile of geese coming. Gosh dang, I love it. That was filthy. I got a two for one there. Did you? Yeah. Man, pretty greenhead got out. I tried to reload, but. There's a lot of greenhead. 
Gosh almighty. Ooh, and the last one was a uh, was one of the brown ducks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Man, they set right in the gosh dang hole. Gosh dang, that was sexy. Is the wind out of the east now or what? The wind is <laughs> non-existent. For the record, guys, everyone watching, it is, there's nothing. I might get another group right here. Yeah, I hit, I hit them with that loud call and they spun on it. These are the ones that came out of the wimple. Shoot, I think we got seven or eight out of that. Well, if you had a collat, could be seven ducks. Well, halfway to a limit. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Holy moly. You know, if I would have shot them on the ground like turkeys and been unethical, I probably would have killed six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could have shot them on the ground, but apparently doing doing your job in landing birds like waterfowlers are supposed to do is the most unethical thing you can do to a uh, upland hunter, a comment we got the other day. <laughs> Apparently we're just a bunch of clowns that are un unethical. Yeah. I'll grab them quick. Cool beans, White. Well, that makes up for your gun getting caught in the grass. Man, shots ammo, guys. I, I'm not joking with you. They are super, super good shells. There's a drake. Got me a drake. They're getting some color on them. Not too shabby. I will say, as a uh, guide for the last 15 years, um, being able to come out here and just buddy hunt and buddy hunt with one of your good friends and just just being out here and uh, not guiding and in a hurry all the time to get birds down get get clients limits um, it's definitely a an appreciation we get to experience again which you don't really don't want to say you don't get to experience appreciating waterfowl but it definitely takes some of it away you're trying to uh, give people the hunt of a lifetime the best flocks, the you know, you're always worried and stressed about, are you gonna shoot your clients ducks? They're spending a lot of money, this, that, and the other. So just to be out here and able to appreciate the waterfowl is uh, kind, of a, uh, kind of getting back into that, I'm not gonna lie. Is guiding has taught us just to uh, turn and burn and go as quick as we possibly can. You don't really get to uh, enjoy the appreciation of it, but I wish we had six guys on that group, though. Uh, yeah, a few more people on that group would have been, <laughs> would have been cool. Yeah. He spun all right on the coal. Yeah, that was that was good. Yeah, they wanted to come right to us though. They're not they're not wanting to set out there. They want to come right to us, Whitey. I don't mind it. Reload your gun, Cole. Bunch of ducks. Big ol' honk daddy there, guys. That makes three species this morning. Look at that. Mallards, honkers, lessers. Got some coming still? If you guys are interested in hunting with Whitey and I on a guided trip down in the States, 
shoot me an email right here, thecoltownsend at gmail.com if you're interested in that. Serious inquiries only. Um, groups of six to ten guys, and we will bang on some gosh dang birds down in the States. We're in a really, really good area, so y'all reach out to me by, by this email right here. I'll get you connected with the right people, and uh, we will get it hooked up. <laughs> Take him, Whitey. Nice shot. Good shot. They all want the other I don't, field. They want that other field way bad. Way bad. That's okay. Kind of figured that much. Big honk. Yeah. Medium. I thought he's a big one. Big one? He's a big one. You got a pair on the deck on my left, you got a pair at 10 o'clock. The one on the left is gonna get here first. Like on the <laughs> Try to wait on these four. Take him. Get. Get. Oh. Well, I really want to take the mojos down. They just. I'm gonna take them down to see if they'll sit down. They, they get to them and flare off. <sighs> then we're gonna have some damn ducks come. <sighs> there we go, boys. More coming. Did you drop two? Cool. Four down. Yeah. They weren't that far. All right, I can shoot two more geese. I know we expect perfection, guys, but wind's died down. We're in kind of a secondary field that, uh, well, I guess the bigger feed is to our south, about two miles away. And this one we thought had enough birds in it just to go to hunt with two guys. Probably go hunt the other one tomorrow or the next day, but we'll see. But it looks like this morning they're training pretty heavy to that other field, so we're kind of just pulling some off the bigger flocks and. We're getting them. <laughs> Take them, Whitey. Bridge, baby. Take them, Whitey. Bridge, baby. You just got them all. What? <laughs> you killed all three of them. Hold on. Kill no. Them. Okay, you only got two. Whoa. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I thought you thought you killed all three in one shot. Holy, I did. I, no, I thought I did. I thought you did too. What in the widge? What in the world? That was crazy. I didn't mean to do that. Got the old widge, baby. Old widge NATO. 
What? <laughs> well, sorry, Whitey. That was an accident. <laughs> we got three widge down. Shout out to Matt Judy, the widgeon slayer, as he's uh, in Washington with the uh, beautiful Eurasian widgeon and normal old widgeon too. Smacking them. Cool. You moving them? I think I'll open that up a little bit more. Yeah, probably a good idea. A little thick. I, don't, I thought I would like it thicker today, but oh, I'm not really liking it. Not gonna lie. It's kind of crazy, guys. These widgeon are crazy when they're in the field. They just want to land in the spread. Super nasty, underrated field duck for sure. One of the most badass decoying ducks in a field for sure. I thought we thought we got three in one shot, but just uh, about one and a half. <laughs> the other one was crippled, but first one I shot was dead. Then the other one that popped up, uh, we got that one too. But we got all three. We can shoot one more duck, two more geese. Whitey can shoot quite a bit more, but yeah, let's get after him some more, baby. No. Son of a... God. Gosh dang it guys, we just had some freaking ducks do it filthy and my GoPro didn't cut on when I hit the button, but I got my last, I got my last mallard out here somewhere. Whitey got I think two or three out of that flock. Man, I did get me a green head. Oh, hammered. Pretty green head. Pretty for pretty for this time of year. Look at that bad boy. Gosh, sorry guys. Two green heads. Three, I got the greeny one. <laughs> the greener one. Greener one. <laughs> yeah, well. Shoot! Well, the hunt, Dang it. The hen lived because I missed her. I wish that uh wish the GoPro kicked on there. Dang it. Well, I guess I did get it on camera, but for some reason the camera put it in like some time warp deal. I don't, I don't know, but we got three ducks there. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Good shot. I just wanted to kill him. That was sexy. <laughs> they might come in. Yep. Boom! <laughs> Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, we got a hole now. Here's the fourth one. You got him? Yeah, I shot him. Cool beans. Heck yeah. Why did he demolish that one that was just copped on us hard? It's almost like he shot it, scared him over there, but they, they saw this bird land in the spread, saw our decoys and came to us. Kind of cool. 
kind of cool. Oh, here's the donkey whitey shot. <sighs> cool. Well, I have officially limited out on ducks and geese. Whitey would be right there with me if his gun didn't get hung on grass this morning. And if those widgeon wouldn't have done what they did. <laughs> We've got them pretty good though. Wow. A little eyeball shot. Like, they went straight Not through. too shabby, white man. Not too bad, not too they bad. good. You know, I told you last night, we always hunt the fields that don't have any birds in them the night before and we do good. Yeah, that's a fact. That is a fact. Yeah. guys we just went to the field most of our birds went to and uh whitey got the old perm on that bad boy didn't you whitey oh yeah <laughs> they're uh they're <laughs> too easy when you're pulling up and he's just smiling here yeah he's like, like <laughs> i know what these guys want <laughs> they all must be some serious hunters <laughs> he started laughing <laughs> the name of it <laughs> well i can't give you the name i guess but <laughs> uh do you have fun today white yeah Got to shoot a couple honks. I'm, gotta shoot some birds. I'm still sad your your gun got caught on the grass first go. That was yeah. I only got, I only got one. Though. Probably here, right? Probably would have limited today, but oh well. We we got enough. We uh we, we had got them for tomorrow. Good old jolly old time. We'll get it. We'll get after them again tomorrow here. But we got a juicy one coming up too. Mm. Oh yeah. It better be juicy. If oh. It's not, I'm gonna lay there until they come. We got permission on a little tiny baby loaf pond that about three four five hundred ducks were on and some geese it was pretty freaking nasty you can shoot across the thing so you can jump across you the can thing. <laughs> you can <laughs> jump across. it is awesome y'all stay tuned for that